am I. Good morning. This is Judith Lay welcoming you to Manx Radio and to the podcast of this week's edition of At Your Service. Manx Radio. If you were listening last week, you'll know this programme came from Liverpool. I was there for several reasons, but of course Eurovision was everywhere and I was caught up in the carnival atmosphere that filled the city. But very obvious also was the deeper sense that it should be Ukraine hosting the event, that Liverpool was only caretaking Eurovision because war was preventing the Ukrainian people from sharing with the world their music, their traditions and their hospitality. And we were reminded of the very real danger when we later found out that, as Ukraine's Eurovision entry, the duo Vorchi, stepped onto the stage in Liverpool last Saturday night, Russian missiles targeted the act's home city of Ternopil, demolishing a Christian aid warehouse there and destroying around £13,000 worth of food parcels due to be delivered to local families. But there was something else happening around the city last week. Churches together on Merseyside were out in force and led by the evangelism and growth team of the Methodist Church in Britain were basically everywhere in Liverpool city centre, walking around, chatting, leading times of prayer everywhere from the entrance to the Eurovision village to city centre churches of all denominations. Their theme was Imagine Peace. I went to a really powerful time of worship in the Roman Catholic Cathedral of Christ the King and its extracts from that service calling us to imagine a world of togetherness and unity that I'd like to share with you now. You'll hear the voices of people from different denominations and community groups and there was great music too. We had the wonderful Salvation Army Band from Walton on Merseyside with the new song Wirral Worship Band and the choirs of both the Roman Catholic and Anglican cathedrals singing together. But sadly, it was a bit beyond my capabilities to make a recording from my seat in the congregation that would do full justice to the worship band and the cathedral choirs. So I've used the hymns that we sang, but different recordings. The service was led jointly by Methodist Minister Reverend Jackie Belfield, who works as a mission enabler on Merseyside, alongside Major Alistair Versfeld, who, with his wife, Major Cathy, are mission development officers at Strawberry Fields. Yes, the Strawberry Fields. You'll hear more about that a little later in the programme. Let's begin with music, followed by a welcome from Canon Anthony O'Brien, Dean of the Catholic Cathedral, and a prayer from Auxiliary Bishop Emeritus, the newly retired Catholic Bishop Tom Williams. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, Worship His holy name Sing like never before Oh my soul I Worship Your holy name The sun comes up It's a new day dawn It's time to sing Your song I 
I'm the Dean here of the Cathedral and so I want to just welcome you all very warmly to our Metropolitan Cathedral here. And it is lovely that we're able to gather like this, joining together in prayers for peace. This representatives, church leaders from right across the, the different traditions on Merseyside and the Wirral, and our musicians and choirs represent the different traditions of the churches across Merseyside. We come together in unity to pray for peace. There are so many nations that we want to remember and hold in our prayers this evening. A prayer for peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you are the true King of Peace. In you alone is found freedom. Please free our world from conflict. Bring unity to troubled nations. Let your glorious peace reign in every heart. The spell all darkness and evil. Protect the dignity of every human life. Replace hatred with your love. Give wisdom to world leaders, free them from selfish ambition, eliminate all violence and war. We pray for unity among nations, pray for unity amongst all people, pray for the most vulnerable, pray for those suffering, pray for the fearful, pray for those most in need, pray for us all. Jesus, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Jesus, hear our prayers. Jesus, I love in you. Amen. to welcome a number of people who are going to share some readings with us this evening. Psalm 37, the first 11 verses, and I'm thrilled to invite a colleague, the Reverend Dr. Cheryl Anderson, the Methodist District Chair, to read this. We listen to the Word of God. Psalm 37. Do not fret because of the wicked. Do not be envious of wrongdoers, for they will soon fade like the grass and wither like the green herbs. Trust in the Lord and do good, so you will live in the land and enjoy security. Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your hearts. Commit your way to the Lord, trust in him, and he will act. He will make your vindication shine like the light and the justice of your cause like the noonday. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret over those who prosper in their way, over those who carry out evil devices. Refrain from anger and forsake wrath. Do not fret. It leads only to evil. For the wicked shall be cut off. But those who wait for the Lord shall inherit the land. Yet a little while and the wicked will be no more. Though you look diligently for their place, they will not be there but the meek shall inherit the land and delight themselves in abundant prosperity. I promised you'd hear more about Strawberry Fields and we'll do that now as Major Alistair Versfeld explains the work of the Salvation Army there. So I'm the, the Mission Development Officer for Strawberry Fields. 
and uh, many will know that Strawberry Field is the place where John Lennon used to climb over the fence and go play. It was at a Salvation Army Children's Home since 1936, and now it's a training hub for young people with learning difficulties and other barriers to employment. And uh, we train them and we, we seek um, long-term sustainable employment for young people that need that extra support in, in our society. So that's what we're doing now. And it's a visitor center. So if you've never been, you have to come. We've got an exhibition and a very, very peaceful garden. And certainly we find that people are experiencing God on our site. We don't force it down anybody's throat, you know, but we, we believe that actually as we let our, our light shine, we can bring hope and light and, and love into people's lives. History tells us that there's never been a, a, a time when the world has been at peace. You know, there's always been a war somewhere in the world. And wouldn't it be great to imagine peace in our world? We are now going to listen to Bolton Salvation Army Band. And uh, they're going to bring us a lovely piece of music. I normally play with them. I was with them last night as we rehearsed this. And it's entitled, I Know Thou Art Mine. And I'm just going to draw your attention to two lines. My Jesus, I love thee. I know thou art mine. That's the opening line. And then every verse after that in our Salvation Army songbook says, says If ever I loved thee, my Jesus, just now. What a brilliant declaration. And you may want to make that declaration just as you listen to the band play. Wherever you are, whether you're sitting in the comfort of your home, whether you've gathered with other people, you may want to silently make that declaration. My Jesus, I love thee. I know thou art mine. If ever I love thee, my Jesus, tis now. Walton Solwish Army Band, thank you. Karen Carter is a team member involved in Fresh Expressions at Strawberry Fields and added this reflection to the service. After Karen's words, there's another psalm, Psalm 46, an opportunity for us to hear the Ukrainian language spoken by Darker Brown. These words come from Open Doors, the Christian charity supporting the persecuted church. Blessed are the risk-takers the rebels and the rule breakers. Blessed are the grieving and the broken. Blessed are the brave and the outspoken. Blessed are the hidden and disguised who watch their words, guard their footsteps and fear for their lives. Blessed are those in prison for their faith. 
Blessed are those who are spied on by the state. Blessed are the lied about and cheated, the unjustly accused, the abused, the mistreated. Blessed are those who flee when they want to stay. Blessed are those who remain when they could run away. Blessed are the refugee and the displaced, the exiled and excluded, the shamed and disgraced. Blessed are those who worship in secret, who whisper their songs, hide their Bibles, forgive those who do them wrong. Blessed are those who are scared but choose to follow just the same. Blessed are those who are persecuted in Jesus' name. Blessed are the risk takers, the rebels and the rule breakers. Blessed are those who have nothing but prayer for God is always with them and the kingdom is theirs. We share in another Psalm 46. God is our shelter and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. So we will not be afraid, even if the earth is shaken and mountains fall into the ocean depths. God is in that city, and it will never be destroyed. At early dawn he will come to its aid. Richka did no Mr. Boje.
Alan Lewis shared the story of the Ukraine Welcome Centre in Blundell Sands on Merseyside. Here's just a little of his very moving story. Thank you for this opportunity. I don't really want to say what we have done. I'd rather say what has happened. Just as background, I'm a circuit steward at Cosby Methodist Circuit, a, a lay preacher and an old man. Just days after the invasion of Ukraine, my wife showed me a flyer from International Aid Trust asking for practical aid for food, first aid and clothing. And she said, oh, we'll ask our friends and collect it in our spare room. She said, I listened. And well, I said, there's an empty church we could use. Rundle Sands Methodist Church had closed and I asked the leadership team and they said, yes, okay. And we leafleted the local shops and social media and half a dozen of us opened up on Sunday the 6th of March and within three hours every pew was piled high with aid. It seats about 400. People came, they stayed, they sorted, they came back week after week packing, labelling, all sent to Ukraine via International Aid Trust. Tons and tons of it. And we're still collecting and we send a transit van full every two to three weeks and we have a core of 70 regulars who have given so much. And you know what? We don't ask them why they do it. We don't ask which church or faith, because they would say none. Then the government introduced the Homes for Ukraine sponsorship scheme, and we welcome new arrivals with uh, SIM cards, food, toiletries, clothes. Now 90% of the displaced Ukrainians are women and children. And only a few had good English. Most had little or none. And arriving maybe with just a backpack or a family of five with one suitcase. The centre continues to be a place where they can be Ukrainian together. I wish I could show you a video of the Ukrainians showcasing their culture in song and dance, their pride in their culture, their nation, and their courage and resilience whilst living in such threatening circumstances. And the Ukraine Welcome Centre has been hugely supported by so many, by the church, by volunteers, individual donors, charities, grant makers, and public bodies. So it's a massive thank you to all of them. But the heroes are the Ukrainians who are here, bearing such loss and uncertainty, who are making a life here for however long and wanting to repay the generosity they have received. There's nothing ever happens that promotes any faith. There is nothing overtly Christian. A Ukrainian says to me, why do you people do this? You do this for nothing. Why do you do this? All I can say that this feels a lot like a miracle and it looks to me a lot like the kingdom of God. of your love is shining in the midst of the darkness shining and our prayer is that God's love 
is shining in parts of the world where there are wars. God's love is shining. God's got his people on the ground ministering even as we gather here in solidarity and support for the people of Ukraine. As we sing the song together, we pray that he would set us free by his truth. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. I'm really sorry I couldn't bring you more of that service, which actually lasted almost two hours. But I hope that what you've heard this morning might leave you, as it did me, imagining peace. And now it's time to take a look at our notice board. This afternoon, the choristers and lay clerks from the cathedral will be in the parish church in Andreas to sing Evensong. This peaceful, prayerful service will start at half past three this afternoon and it'll be followed by light refreshments. The mariners are at the Howe tonight for a service starting at the usual time of half past six. Mr Kevin Mort will preach and the soloist is Mr Paul Costain and the service will be followed by supper and community hymn singing. There's Taze worship at Dolby again this evening, also starting at half past six. An opportunity for stillness, silence and reflection, mingled with scripture and some simple Taze chants. A time to be still before God in a quiet place. Everyone is welcome and the service will be followed by tea and cakes. Praying the Keels Week started yesterday, offering a selection of walks exploring some of our keels, the simple ruins of ancient chapels scattered in some of our island's most beautiful countryside. The walks are of varying length and there's a coach trip and a talk too. The best way to see what's on offer is to look out for the blue leaflets that have full details of the whole week or visit the website prayingthekeels.org and keels has two e's and two l's praying the keels or one word no spaces prayingthekeels.org and there you can read about the week's events and download a brochure if you wish this tuesday the 23rd sandygate methodist chapel will be open between 10 and 12 noon serving light refreshments and there'll be a raffle too with all funds benefiting victim support isle of man And that's all that we have time for now. But I'll be back tonight at nine to open the door to our virtual late lounge for a relaxing few hours with a mix of easy listening music and a bit of nostalgia to round off your day. I'd love you to join me if you can. So, till whenever we meet again, this is Judith saying thank you for listening and I wish you and those you love a blessed and peaceful week and a very good morning. (music) 